Chapter 1 You are listening at FameTV.info Chapter 1 The Drowned Young Man Translator Henyi Translations Editor Henyi Translations Haul It Up We'll be rich if you get it up. Amidst the surging waves, Han Fei was shouting excitedly against the wind on his boat, who knows, we might know what lies in store in that map today. Han Fei was a gold digger on the sea. Seven years ago, he accidentally picked up an ancient treasure map while fishing. The map captivated him and told him that there was a great secret, possibly a medieval shipwreck, in the marked spot on the map. If he could claim the treasure, he would live the rest of his life without ever needing to worry about money, Han Fei craned his head at the sea. His boat had been surrounded by countless fish, including several hundred sharks, since it came here, or he would have dived in personally, dong, suddenly, a sailor shouted, not good, boss. Something is dragging us down. It's alive. Han Fei replied, alive my ass. How can anything be alive after hundreds of years? Crack.an enormous force broke the keel of the boat, throwing Han Fei and company to the rails heavily. A sailor cried, hurry. Cut the rope. Han Fei yelled with bloodshot eyes, F asterisk asterisk K off. Pull it up. We're going to die anyway. I would rather take a look at the treasure before that. Han Fei knew that he was doomed after he heard the crack. So, he had turned completely crazy and was determined to see the treasure, another sailor cursed. F asterisk CKU. I'm here to make money, not to get myself killed. Caught by the unexpected danger, everybody was stunned waves were surging on the surface of the ocean, Han Fei, however, noticed none of it, only a shadow below the water. What was that that a round item several meters long rose to the surface? Why did it look like a strange calabash? As a professional fisherman, he knew the ocean as well as he knew his own house, and he was certain that it was not a calabash. After all, no calabashes could remain unrotten after being soaked in seawater for so many years. He believed that it was more likely to be a calabash. Shaped wreck, hum, an enormous force surged again and flipped the boat over. Han Fei fell into the ocean, however, an accident happened the next second. A thick pillar of water rose to the sky, and the boat was immediately elevated, flying to the sky in the water pillar, Han Fei panicked, the most titanic fish head appeared in the water. He swore that he had never seen a fish as large. Its head alone was bigger than a boat. Even the largest blue whale couldn't compare to it, despite his dizziness, Han Fei felt that something was pulling him into the ocean. He was both excited and scared when he thought of the blood-curdling behemoth down there. He saw a crab several meters long running to him when he was dying, huh? Isn't it supposed to be a fish? Why is it a crab? Those were Han Fei's last thoughts, Pooh. Cough, cough, somebody was calling him as if from a distance. Han Fei, wake up. Brother, wake up. After spewing out he didn't know how much water, Han Fei finally woke up from unconsciousness. His head was aching and full of thousands of strange pictures and memories that did not belong to him. Opening his eyes, Han Fei gasped at the sky that a boundless ocean stretched out to the horizon, illuminated by a crimson sun that covered half of the sky. Scattered clouds dangled from the sky like long, uncombed hair, hiss, where the hell am I? What's that thing in the sky? Han Fei was appalled. The enormous fish a moment ago and the unbelievably large sun right now were surreal to him, however, they were not everything. BAM after an explosion, a middle. aged man emerged from the water on a giant crab with a fishing pole in his hand, Han Fei was shocked. The crab floated on the surface, and the middle. aged man stood on top of it. As he stomped, ripples spread out on the ocean alongside an intimidating wind, the water splashed upward, and a fish broke out of it. The fish was two meters long, with fins that looked like wings. It also had greenish stones all over its body, Hugh. Hugh. Hugh, suddenly, all the greenish stones on the fish darted toward the man, Crab King's pincers. The man roared and, lowering his body, threw out a punch. Immediately, a pincer shadow was pushed out, blowing up the fishing pole and the flying stones simultaneously. 
the two-dot-meter dot-long fish was cut into halves. One of the halves fell right before Han Fei, Han Fei's eyes bulged in shock, humph, a middle dot aged harumphed. Pulled by a green turtle into the ocean. You're daydreaming if you think you can pass the trial with such a performance. A young man next to Han Fei hurried to explain, Master Wang Jia, it was only because Han Fei's arm was hurt by a blade fish the other day, the middle dot aged man waved his hand. No need to explain to me. The fish in the ocean do not listen to your reason. A level point two fisher is as good as nothing. It was not until this moment that Han Fei realized he was lying on a strange boat. Dozens of similarly strange boats were strewn on the ocean nearby, and many children in strange clothes were standing on them, the children were all wearing tight clothes that looked like diving suits regardless of their gender, except that their clothes did not have oxygen tanks. Those children were also looking at him in disdain, next second, when he saw his own hand, his eyes twitched, huh. Why is my hand so small have I transmigrated that a young man said in concern, it's all right as long as you're fine. Before Han Fei was able to ask, the middle dot aged stepped out and landed on an empty boat in front of everyone, then he spoke to the dozens of boats with a book in his hand, Zhang Qin, a level point four fisher. Fishing result. A low dot quality yellow fish. Lu Lingji, a level point five fisher. Fishing result. A mid quality green turtle. Tang Gu, a level point seven fisher. Fishing result. A high dot quality tentacle lobster. Everyone gasped in disbelief at the result, what? A tentacle lobster. How dare he? The tentacle lobster is known as the lobster of death. It's much more destructive than blade fish. He actually caught one. Some people said enviously, Tang Gu was only level 6 last month, but he's level 7 now. It's so fast. A girl put her fist on her chest and commented, Wow. Tang Gu is so awesome. He's the genius of our school. He's almost certain to be a fishing master later. As people whispered to each other, Han Fei looked at the young man next to him, Tang Gu that I've transmigrated, taking a deep breath, Han Fei recalled countless memories, Tang Gu, his great friend, was saved by his father eight years ago and had been his close friend since. Pitifully, his father passed away in the unknown world beyond the level point three fishery. Tang Gu had been taking care of him since then, Han Fei took another deep breath. He had assumed the body of a useless man who was drowned. However, this world seemed interesting, right then, Wang Jia looked at Han Fei and said, Han Fei, a level point two fisher, got nothing. Besides, Han Fei was the only person who was pulled into the ocean by a green turtle. He has failed the test. If he cannot pass the fishing trial a month from now, he will be expelled. Ha ha ha, many people laughed, regarding Han Fei as a friend that a girl simply scolded, Han Fei, please stop wasting Tang Ji's cultivation resources. You're only holding him back. Infuriated, Tang Gu was about to argue with her, when Han Fei pulled his arm, now that his memories had been assimilated he would rather not keep lying there pretending to be dead. This world was strange, but as an adventurer who had fought pirates and sharks on the sea, Han Fei was not scared at all, Han Fei sneered, did I eat your yellow fish? It's none of your business. Everybody fell quiet instantly, Tang Gu looked at Han Fei in shock. Han Fei had been taciturn since his father left. He barely talked, much less talked back, the girl almost jumped up in fury, hoping to rip Han Fei's mouth apart with her fishing hook. At this moment, Hu Kuan said cynically, Hey, Han Fei. Take your time feeling good about yourself, but a month from now, you won't even be qualified to look up to us as a low-dot-level fisher. What are you so proud of? Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.